Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning selves, my grown extended family, just thank you so much for the positive feedback. You're staying with me. You're telling me you're able to relate to the videos I'm pushing out, which makes me very grateful. With that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is very informative to you or it gives you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some you know some changes at this time please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorite wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support once again and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today this piece peaceful enchanting music that I'm listening to which is very beautiful um it's called Ench um, enchants positive energy 528 hertz miracle healing fr frequency music enhanced self-love and relaxing music I mean we definitely need that in our life just loving yourself more and more every day because nobody's gonna love you more than you you love yourself and today in my video I got a couple of um contents that I need to go over um twin flame 101 when uh no matter what obstacles get thrown in your way stay focused you do you need to stay focused it's just like you know lately with especially with the you know spring solstice or whatever that stuff is coming on spring equinox that's what i meant to say i've been seeing something about the summer solstice is coming along um just we've been getting tested left and right you know with us being activated I, I mean we are really going through it really going through it that's why i mean it's just like yesterday my daughter got admitted to the hospital thank god it was just like a viral flu she's out you know but she's still a little sick or whatever and i had my granddaughter she was a little sick you know they stayed until like three four o'clock in the morning and i was just like ah. You know, I said, you cannot tell God your plans because you will get straight laughed at. And I said, oh, I'm going to do me some videos. I'm going to work out. I'm going to do this and this and that. And ain't nothing going to stop me. Bam. I need to watch my my granddaughter and she can't go outside. <laughs> you know, so it's just like so many things are getting tested towards us that where darkness will throw things in our way to throw us off side of the things we're heading towards um it, it could be negative people saying things naysayers when they don't believe in your dream and see their dreams for themselves for them they will throw you know dirt on your stuff you know uh people will try to give you their input to stop your you know to throw you off i mean i've had that as well but you know you have to keep keep keeping on you know you go through things for a reason it's a test all the time it, it's just like it can work your nerves you know you can sit up here and say oh i'm gonna have me a good week and i'm not gonna let nothing stop me okay rolling that dice and bam get thrown at you all left and right you just start head start spinning like reagan from the exorcist i'm i'm telling you it's just crazy <laughs> it's just really crazy because i'm just like i've been hit left and right left and right for the last few days and that's why it was not just because my granddaughter was here and I'm going to protect her mom's privacy because she said she didn't want her in a video. So I'm going to respect that. So I didn't put her in a video. So I just said, okay, let me just go ahead and play with my granddaughter and stuff like that and spend that time with her. So, you know, and it just especially it gave me that time to just relax, relate, release. Because like I told y'all, when I be throwing all these videos out, I need like a day, probably a day and a half. I'm blessed if I can be able to do videos every single day back to back because i used to do that you know if you've been with me for a while you know you were getting at least about four or five videos every day but now since i'm doing like six to eight videos a day you know it, it drains me really bad so it's just like you know when universe source god whatever wants me to put those uh videos out i just do that you know and it's just a blessing 
that I can be able to send these things out to be able to reassure you, you know, you're not by yourself, you know, tough times come, but it, you know, it, it, it tests your strength, it's, it tests your knowledge, your ability to be able to see how you're going to respond to things, how you're going to be able to take to it, you know, because it was just like me, I know, you know, you got something good coming towards you if you're getting it hit left and right, hit left and right, people will wish bad things on you, you know, try to sit up here and pray, for, you know, and it's sad when people try to pray to make sure you don't get the things that you deserve to have in your life especially if you've been working hard and even if you're sending them love and blessings they'll still be wishing bad stuff for you pray for them folks anyway because they don't realize they're blocking their blessings when they sit up here and wish something bad on you too as well so it's just like when you're going through things obstacles are going to come left and right you know it's just life you know at have time i'm like damn did somebody put some roots on me and you know and it's just like i can't be thinking like that you know, not to, even thinking about people blocking my blessings. Only people can block your blessings like that is yourself. A lot, especially if somebody's trying to do that and you got that thought process in your mind thinking, oh, okay, these things are going to, you know, block your blessings or, you know, your negative thinking is what is going to block your blessings. Yes, people can put spells on you and stuff like that, but I believe almighty power of God, it, it ain't nothing that can beat him. So it's just like, you know, I'm not no religious person, but I'm very spiritual, but I do believe in there is a God. You know, I believe the power of prayer, you know, blocking people out your life, blocking things out of your life that's going to continue to bring you in that wearable of pain, you know, staying in that dark side, which we don't need to be in because we've been in it so long. It could be hard to get up out of it. So it's just like, you know, you have good things coming towards your way. You being activated for a reason. You're going through hell and high water for a reason. You ask God, why is he sending you through trouble water? because he's telling you your enemies cannot swim you ask why your friends turn their back on you it's like i didn't tell you they were turning their back on you i turn your back on them because you have something better in a different direction so keep going and keep feeling and doing what you need to do for yourself better yourself love yourself respect yourself knowing that you know even if these friends are not the ones you so-called thought you had in your life that was there for you. They had your back, and all of a sudden, when they see you doing different things, they want to say, oh, you acting shady, or oh, you changed. No, we all got to grow up sometime. We all can't be still doing the same things we were doing 10, 15 years ago. There's time to be evolving. There's times to change. There's time to uplift. We're awakening. So we can't be sitting up here doing the same things we're doing, and we're wondering why jobs are not coming right for us like i've told y'all before you know you probably end up leaving a job or you got fired from a job and it, it was crazy because when i talk to empaths it could be on the stupidest stuff and i'm just like are you serious they fired you for that that's just the universe working for you right there even though it's a sad situation because it, you know trump done made it hard for every damn body you know you trying to sit up here and, and make it hard i mean trying to work hard to get the things that you you uh you need to get to and all these things is just coming economy is just crazy government is just crazy but everything is happening for a reason sometimes our life need to be shaken up so when it feels like it's falling apart it, we're able to put it back together the way it's supposed to be because if we're out here doing things just to survive and we're not happy with doing the things we are going to do what we're doing currently your life is going to be miserable your life is going to be really miserable, and that's the reason why you have to keep going. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep thriving and surviving. You know, tell yourself, you know, even though BS keeps constantly thrown at you, it's how you respond to it. You know, and I have to keep telling myself that because it's like I'll get pissed, like, dag, you know, I'm pushing out love and light. You know, yeah, I might see some crazy stuff and have my little input on it, and I need to probably stop doing that too because I'll be seeing these crazy damn celebrities going through all these things they really don't have to go through them, but I'll be saying stuff of my past experience like why are you putting yourself through something like that especially when you got the money to walk on and go you know it's just really crazy stuff that's going on but then i can't be there to judge because i know i had to go through my situation to finally see you know you're better than that you don't deserve the things that you're you're putting yourself through you know don't don't allow yourself to be put in a ha you know an unhappy spot you know because there's sometimes you're stuck there for a karmic reason for you to get the lesson out of that pain to learn the lesson out of that situation so you know when when obstacles come past you you know stay focused have that tunnel vision do what you need to do because it's like nothing you know negative people the devil and darkness won't want nothing better for you than you to fail or you just 
you know, get unfocused on the things that you really need to have. So it's just like if you know you're studying studying in school for something and, you know, things come up in your way where it, it seems hard or it's like unbearable. Don't allow those bad situations to, you know, block you from the things that you want to do in life. Maybe those bad situations will put you in a better light and a better experience for you to learn and say, okay, I can, you know, whatever I'm trying to go out there and do, I can add that towards that and just, you know, be able to relate that to somebody else if you're studying for something, whatever you're studying for or whatever you're going to school for to help other people because I know what us empaths we have a thing about doctors, lawyers, you know, psychologists, psychiatrists, therapists, all these different things we're going through that we need to be able to relate to others so others can be comfortable with talking to us. Others can be comfortable with learning things from us. It's like, hey, they've been down this path before and they made it, so why can't I? We have to be that example, that walking example for other people. It all starts with us. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Like I said, I had a pr pretty bad, hectic days, but I had to, you know, refocus myself and get right. Like, oh, heck no, nah, I ain't about to let this stuff, you know, stop my shine. I can't, I can't, you know, because things going to happen every day. That means that every time something happens, you need to stop. If you need to refocus for a minute, you know, you got to give yourself a day. That's fine. Go ahead. But don't. Don't be letting it, you know, one or two, three, four days go by unless it's like the universe telling you to go ahead and focus on you. But anyways, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know, you know, your feedback on the things. You you know, you, you don't have to tell me your business or whatever. I mean, even if you do, I always tell people. You can email me, but I say I very seldom check my email. So if you got Facebook or even just, you know, sign up for Facebook Messenger and get in touch with me there under my name. And if you need to have a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, everything's confident what we talk about. Confidential. That's what I meant to say. That you can talk about and you can hit me up there if you want to get on a one-on-one. -on -one. I always tell people to do that, but just make sure it's a respectable time of hours. Like I'm in, I'm in Georgia. So between at least about 10... 10 o'clock a.m. till 10.30 p.m. at night, Monday through Sunday, every day between those times. Now, after that, I try not to talk to nobody because those are my sleeping hours. But anyways, I'm going to give my post notification shout out to BXB, B-X-O-E, uh, and uh, Crystal Asbrooks, Ash, yeah, Osbrooks, I'm sorry. Um, much love to you, and I will talk to you all in my next video. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Like I said, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You know, share a video. Drop me a line. And I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing I am and someone else is always praying for your, praying for your better days. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Be wild.